Okay, today we're going to work on the uh, 2006 2.5 VW Beetle. We're going to replace the uh, coolant temperature sensor. It's throwing a code of P3081 and when you uh, search that code for these VWs, you'll see that, that the uh, CTS, they call it, coolant temperature sensor is bad. I've done plenty of research on it. There's a lot of videos on Jetta's and other VWs. This is an 06 2.5 liter uh, engine. And first thing you're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and remove this cover here. And if you back it up a little here, you're gonna see that we're gonna take a couple of items out. We're gonna take the, uh, the oil cover. We're gonna take the dipstick out, okay? Take that, and then this cover comes off and there's gonna be four plugs. And you're just gonna gently kinda jiggle them up, up and down. Don't crank it too hard because you'll, you'll crack. This looks like cast iron, but it's casted plastic, I guess. There he goes. You can see the points right there. Okay, so we're gonna take that off and get that out of the way. Get this, this one off, comes off like that. Get that out of the way next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these this off here we're gonna take that off and we're gonna take off the one on the bottom and I got them preset for the video but anyways fairly easy get that out of the way a little bit not not too bad okay and if you move a little closer the sensor is right there if you can see that if you move it over here to this side I think it's pretty clear that it's right there Okay, so now what I'm going to do there is take a regular screwdriver and if you look over here, I'm going to shine some light here because it's kind of dark, but anyways, you stick your screwdriver in there, you twist this up, you're going to hear a click. There it goes. And then, okay, now we got this little item off, it clicked off and it comes right out. Be careful on how you take that off there, you know, just push in and up and it should be able to get this little notch right out of that clip. If they're plastic, just be careful, you know, just be careful with that. Now what we're going to do is this little, uh, this sensor came with an O-ring. I got it on Amazon. The number of the sensor is 158. 0629. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. It comes with it right on there. Set a little Vaseline for the prevention of uh, rust and, you know, just keep it nice and moist in there. A little Vaseline. I've seen that on, I've seen this on other videos and I think it's, uh, it's not going to hurt any and it's kind of keeps the seal nice and moist. Clean that out really well. Okay. So here we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set that aside. We are going to take the, um, we are going to take the old sensor out. And, um, and if you can see a clip, back in there can you uh, focus on that please right over here you're gonna see see that little clip right there and I'm gonna point it out it's right there this will come right out you just gotta nice and easy you see it come out see it advancing out there it goes I don't want to lose it so go ahead and move back okay and I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out it clicked back in and again you're dealing with plastic so go easy plus you're dealing with the VW I always found it hard to work on these cars so we're going to take that out There it is. This comes out. And then this should come. There may be some 
fluid that'll seep out of it. There it is. And it's under pressure. That's why we had it. Um, what we want to do is stick the other one back in as soon as possible. Here we go. That's not too bad. I probably lost it. it sounds like a lot, but you didn't lose that much. Now, see over here, there's the, uh, the reservoir. I went ahead and loosened that up earlier just so, so the pressure leaves the car because once you take it off, there'll be pressure or be under pressure. So I took that off, loosened it up. And as you can see, it went in. Just the same way, like that. This little notch right there is sitting nicely. This goes back in there, but we need to set the clip back in there. And this clip will go back in there. And I don't know if we're gonna get to see it, but anyways, just put the clip back in there. There it is. God, it went in a lot nicer. Okay, there's the clip. Here's our <sighs> sitting nicely in there. Okay, there it is. Now we should be able to set everything back. Okay. Set this back in here. Okay. Back in there. Okay. It's throwing that code P3081. Okay, so now if the problem still continues. You can hear the fans go on. This is what it was happening. It was throwing an engine code. The fan would just go on automatically the moment I turned it on. And um, the next thing you gotta do is probably replace the uh, thermostat. Now, anybody out there can uh, post a video on how to replace the thermostat on this 2.5 engines. It'd be great because I cannot locate it anywhere in here. I think it's under this manifold, but I hate to take that apart. So anybody generous enough to post that, that'll be great. There's your replacement for the uh, CTS, the coolant temperature sensor. I hope this works out for you guys. Thank you very much.